millions of people are experiencing the economy as a deep uncertainty. The things that we used to be very certain about, about work in America, about having a job, are no longer certain. The ground is shifting under our feet. For millions of people, the ground is falling apart under their feet. Workers used to be pretty sure of three things about working. The first was that if you have a job, you have an employer, and you can bargain with that employer, at least in a good economy. I think that the second big thing was that in a good economy, you'd be employed. In a bad economy, the jobs would go away, the government would help you out, and you would get a job back, the same job you had before in most cases. Those are two of the basic assumptions about work. I, I would say a third is that people thought if you lived somewhere, you would get a job around there. Those things are no longer true. 42.6 million people, a third of the workforce in 2006, was counted as contingent. That means temporary, subcontracted, part-time, at a time when everybody wants to talk about personal responsibility. Companies distance themselves from responsibility, and as a result, 42.6 million people have no boss. So they have no one to bargain with. They're not bargaining with their real boss. Secondly, workers used to be employed for long periods of time, experienced short-term unemployment. Now they're unemployed for long periods of time. Most people, 40% of this country that's unemployed, has been unemployed for 27 weeks. The nature of work has changed. The employment relationship has changed. The nature of unemployment has changed. The labor market has collapsed. And you've heard about the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You know, There needs to be a little bit of a hitchhiker's guide to the economy. More and more workers can't be guaranteed that they will work at the same workplace the following week or the same industry the following week. Already among the most profitable industries in America is the temp sourcing industry, which is in the business of making sure workers work one place one day and another another day. So, you know, when you hitchhike from job to job through the economy, it means you're not being invested in. We need to make sure people can stay at a place, can advance at a place, can be promoted and feel like professionals. And we need to make sure that those people can stay there to organize and raise the standards. So maybe the economy, on one hand, is filled with uncertainty. But on the other hand, I think that cert uncertainty is a an invitation to reinvent organizing, just to give you an example. We have a group of workers who last year um, decided to reinvent themselves in order to have more power, in order to organize. They would go back and forth year after year between a small town in Mexico and a small town in Louisiana. They would go back and forth. They were seasonal workers. They had no rights. They were tied to their employer, and they worked in small factories in Louisiana. They decided that they had to stop being Louisiana crawfish industry workers. They decided that they were supplying to Walmart. 80% of their produce was going to Walmart. So they reinvented themselves and redefined themselves as Walmart workers on the Walmart supply chain. And they won. They forced Walmart to take responsibility for the conditions on the supply chain, even though Walmart had tried to distance themselves from responsibility for the conditions in the workplace. This is happening around the country, and I think it's a point of hope um, to see that we can organize across supply chains, up and down subcontracting schemes, across labor markets, by going to the corporations and making demands of responsibility. In the United States, it's on its way to becoming a low-wage nation, a contingent workers nation, and we need to change that. We need to change that by making the major industries in the United States dignified industries with advancement opportunities, with career ladders, with better standards. We need to raise the floor for all workers. And that means, first of all, admitting that there's still work, that there are still workers, and secondly, it means naming a national problem, the rise of contingent work is a national problem without a name. We have to start talking about it. We have to start dealing with it. We have to start organizing it 
so that the major industries in this country that are expanding become dignified work.